All right. So this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Moon, Inus Bell Rising. Weekly general tarot reading February 17th to February uh, 23rd, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to uh, our reading, our weekly reading straight away, I'm saying ours because I am a Scorpio as well. Now the first card which stands as the topic of uh, our week, that is to be the 10 of uh, Wands, followed by the next one here, which represents uh, the energy feeding and supporting the topic. We do have the death card in that position. The third one is going to be in term of challenges that we have to overcome here throughout the week, guys. That is to be the eight of wands. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the eight of pentacles, followed by the fifth card here, which is how other people are going to take on us. What kind of impression we are going to leave into the people around. That is to be the Ten of Swords and the last one here, which stands as the guidance that Taro is offering to us. We do have the uh, the Hangman. So those uh, those five cards here. OK, so the first one is going to be the uh, Ten of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the Death card. Then it is uh, the Eight of uh, Wands, followed by the Eight of Pentacles. Then it is the Ten of Swords, and the last one here is the Hanged Man. All right. So, uh, this week uh, that we are going to enter in it, the energies here, as they are marked by the Death card, are pointing that a lot of uh, things we are dealing with, uh, kind of, are going to... Um, how can I say it? Well, they are going to reshuffle either their priority or they are going to change in general. But this change, according to the Ten of Wands here, is going to be rather very, very good one. So uh, it kind of stands like a uh, that we are going to change ourselves. It's not like the situation itself is going to take one or another turn it is just our attitude toward it is going to change drastically depending how much uh how cost efficient that uh, that enterprise on that endeavor is so for example if we find our love life to be uh very cost efficient then we're going to uh change our behavior or our standpoint in regards of it and we will become, for example, more serious, more active, say, and in generally more uh, more devoted to it. Same goes in terms of career, because the Ten of Wands here points, guys, as a, a topic of uh, the week itself. It is that we are going, there are going to be a lot of things moving around us uh, in a sense of, uh, how can I say it, in a sense of, say, opportunities or openings. The right word is not opportunity, but openings. If I have to give you an example with myself, it is, uh, say, should I uh, devote my time more into the courses that I am making or should I devote my time more into the videos that I'm shooting or should I devote time more into uh, the private reading, say, and I have to decide which of those things is going to be more cost effective. Uh, and efficient that is moving in the long run so that is the week for us that we are to face because this week is going to be very very busy now the ten of wands it's uh it's suggesting that it's not suggesting it's saying it because whenever you are busy under the situation of the ten of wands that business always pays off okay it always straves you for power either a, a, a good position into your career or either a good position in terms of relationship but with with relationships we have to be a bit more careful when we are operating under the circumstances of the ten of wands because uh this card may transform very vital and very happy, you know, interaction or a, or, or a relationship into something much more mundane, for example, into something that 
follows rules and regulations where it should be a room for surprises and excitement and etc etc so if this card is it's referring to our private life we need to be a little bit more adaptable there we need to be a little bit more agile and open for compromises if you if you will but the ten of wands here points that we are like said gonna be very 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 busy working over or working out a um a thing enterprise a uh, career or a, uh, a a relationship that is going to be very beneficial moving forward into the future and as we see that uh, okay this is where the dead card kicks in as an energy as we see that we are going to change our perception and change our attitude toward it and with this everything else that it is in flux around us everything else that does not kind of like comes even close to the effectiveness of this enterprise is gonna have to wait okay and if it can if it cannot excuse me if it cannot wait well then I, it's welcome to leave that that's the thing with the death card okay that we also are going to be ready to to kind of let go of uh, of people things or enterprises that are demanding our attention um, more like a, a ultimatum here you either are going to come around or i'm leaving okay but uh, if we don't find that necessary if we don't find that something substantial for us we are we are going to have no problem whatsoever to let to to tell them just well the door doesn't have a lock or it's not locked so you can leave uh, leave whenever uh, whenever you like um, and uh, one note here that could be a bit dangerous though for marriages okay so for example you are Scorpio and you're finding that now is the time to push heavily career-wise and your partner in relationship tells you that if you do not stop they're gonna leave you it doesn't look like that you're gonna have problem with it whatsoever because your standpoint at that point is going to be well if you are not supporting me through that very very decisive time for me then what use i have from you okay now next one it is the challenges that we will have to overcome here and that is the eight of wands so the eight of wands it is the challenge of dynamic it's it kind of says that things are gonna happen one after another one thing comes around another takes its place as well so it's gonna be very speedy kind of like a routine and week for us and uh, we are to be bombarded with uh, our new enterprises with the uh, eight of wands new ideas for example new people come around a a, a new project or kind of like new tasks as well that are coming around in term of uh, in term of a career and we have to identify which of them is worth our time okay that that is to be the challenge because these things these activities are going to be much more than we can handle all at once and they are um they're not gonna wait for us what i am trying to say here is that they are coming by with the flow and if not grasp or grasped or seized they just fly bys with the flow around us so just to give you an, an example here um you go out and uh and kind of like uh, try to socialize or opt to socialize and uh, a, a lady starts flirt with you all right or a man it does depend it's kind of like your type starts to flirt with you if you don't grasp that opportunity you may not ne you may never see that person again so at least ask them for their number it's kind of like taking an initiative here for those things that you are finding that are worth your while that is to be the week for us and uh, and that way guys we are to make our i don't know how to say it in english but let's say our routine and our environment in life in generally much more productive than before because we are to saturate it only with things that are to be productive and that are to be uh, uh kind of like um, cost effective if you will or efficient and they will have a return to us the next one it will be in term of the gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy scorpio throughout the week that is to be the gift and the blessing of the uh, eight of uh, pentacles so the biggest gift and blessing of the eight of pentacles it is that um, uh, something that we have uh, uh, that took a long time for us to prepare or to plan that is finally can take 
place finally can be manifested you know say you have planned for a long for a long time to buy yourself an apartment or a house well maybe that's your lucky week here okay and you start heavily working into that direction because you do find it uh substantial and you are finding it that this is the most efficient thing and whomever does not want to support you through it well they are welcome to leave and there you go you do have the incorporation or the manifestation of this reading uh, another thing with the ten uh, with the eight of pentacles here uh, especially in terms of business as a gift and blessing private business that is it is that you can be or we can be uh, we can expect here to be very be very very busy throughout the week many orders are going to come around uh, and it's entirely up to us are we going to catch them or not or at least many inquiries are going to come around it is the better way to say it okay and it's up to us are we going to grasp on them or are we not going to grasp on them now it's important here to be said as well as a gift and blessing it is that we are going to have that keen eye for the uh, small details for the subtleties out there so if you do want to make something exceptional career-wise or relationship-wise, something that is going to have a whoa factor out there, you know, and is seriously going to impress people, that is the week you do it. Uh, the next one, it is in terms of how people are going to see you, what, uh, see us, what kind of an impression we are going to leave into the people around. And that is the impression of the Ten of Swords. Very, very determined people are those who are marked by the Ten of Swords. People that have no problem whatsoever to make up their mind, to do what they think is right, okay, and to disregard completely opposition or to not care. You, you will not be able to care less for that someone does not want to support you. You wouldn't care less if someone does not share your opinion. You wouldn't care less if people were abandoning you or we aren't gonna, we are not gonna care less for that, all right? This just is going to be completely irrelevant because we are gonna have our fulcrum here, okay? And that fulcrum for many of us is going to be much more worth its while than everything that it is going away, you know. So a tutor goes away, well, be my guess if you're not going to support me through my decisive time of career. You know, no different than you have to spend a lot of time doing your project and your partner is kind of like it's unwilling to wait for you, okay, for those couple of days or one week and starts going socializing elsewhere and cheats on you well you are not going to have problem with that because you are you are going to decide that, that person ain't worth it whatsoever but above everything else you're going to make a, a severe impression out there that you are person who stands or who who, who is who, who stood or who is staying firmly on the ground because people are going to see in you someone that it has no, it, it doesn't have any problems to make rough decisions, tough calls, and also difficult actions, very difficult actions out there. So that leads us to the guidance that Tara is offering. We do have the hangman here, guys. And... Uh, the hangman pretty much uh, tells us uh, only one thing here as a guidance. It is that uh, if you have to push something, okay, and it simply does not want to work around, does not want to, how can I say it, to unfold, no matter how much you are throwing into it, then it's not worth your time at all. Okay, it's just, it's not worth yours, our time at all. Because with the hangman, uh, those things that are meant for us to happen, they eventually going to start happening on their own accord. So here the hangman uh, kind of like urges us to stop wasting our breath into those who does not want to listen to us, to stop wasting our dedication, our devotion, you know, and our time with uh, people or with enterprises that are not showing any signs whatsoever that they are going to repay us with anything and they, that they stand completely indifferent or completely um, unchanged, if you will, in regards to what's, what we are willing to offer to them. No different than you kind of like someone and you start kind of, uh, and, and you start showing them kindness and, you know, you start... Um, 
you start trying to establish a connection and they simply doesn't care so it's we have to just kind of leave that concept behind and focus more upon the grand scheme of things which is us be ha being happy and productive so that being said scorpio this was our uh, weekly tarot reading february 13th to Feb uh, february 17th excuse me to february 23rd 2020 i hope guys you have enjoyed the reading and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal one that is going to um predict how your situation is to unfold you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.